back to another episode of my F1 2016 a Force India career mode. Today, sorry guys if the echo is particularly bad, I'm not sure how this is going to really work out in all honesty because this is the first video I'm making in my new house. This room isn't full yet and I think I can already hear a little bit of an echo, but hopefully the mic doesn't pick that up too much. But yeah, so this is the first video I'm making in my new house. Hopefully the uploads have been alright. Whilst I've been gone, this is quite weird, the fact I'm making this video very early on once I've moved. But then just the fact that this won't come out for a very long time and then other videos will come out that haven't come out yet that I already know will be coming out that you guys don't. It all gets very, very complicated very, very quickly. That's one of the big problems with ever trying to make YouTube videos. Like, planning ahead is just a terrible, terrible thing. But anyway, today we are here at the German Grand Prix. A bit of a meh track for me, really. What I found from watching other people is just that one straight absolutely dominates everything on this track. If you're ahead, if you can be behind a car there, you're just going to overtake them, which was a bit of a shame to see. But as we can see, coming through on our track acclimatisation lap, we actually did incredibly well. Got two greens and a red there, so we did obviously pass the initial test there, so that was very, very good. And now we're moving on to our first lap of our qualifying pace uh, test. As you can see, we are massively up in the green there, very, very confident in the green, in fact. So very, very comfortable with that. Just coming through the final few corners. So Kevin Mansell, that car just absolutely parks the bus. So that was front wing gone, damaged, everything. So Kevin Mansell better watch out for us in the Grand Prix. Next up, we move into qualifying. As you can see there, Kimi Raikkonen goes purple. So he is there for our yardstick here. Qualifying was hopefully going to be a very, very strong thing for me here. Obviously, I have cranked up the AI now as well. I would just like to add that to this. I haven't left the footage in, I don't know why, but I have actually cracked up the AI ready for this video. Better not forget to do that. So we qualified in P9, uh, sorry, P8 there, which was fairly solid behind both Mercedes, both uh, both Ferraris, both Williams and a Red Bull. So fairly, fairly happy with that. So let's move in to the German Grand Prix here. It obviously just got all these nice graphics that F1 does. There's Codemasters treat as well, don't they? But yeah, hopefully you guys, the echo, as I was saying, isn't too bad in this video as well. I will edit it out. If the echo is horrendous, then I will make another one. Also going to do a new setup video very, very soon as well. I do want, obviously, to show you guys, obviously, it's a big change. The setup, obviously, is very, very different to what it used to be. So yeah, hopefully that video will be rocking around soon as well. But let's now move in to the German Grand Prix. There's the safety car as well, you know, just really showing. So Rosberg, Hamilton, Vettel, Felipe Massa. Williams actually doing a lot of R&D recently there. It was quite surprising and quite positive to see for them. And then we have Bottas, Raikkonen, Verstappen, myself, Ricardo, and Perez rounding out the top ten there. So obviously five teams make up the top ten. It seems to very much have turned that way over the last couple of races where it does seem to be Either Perez is just outside the top 10, but the top 9 are pretty much just Ferrari, Mercedes, Red Bull, Williams, and myself. Just a bit of a shame to see now, just having a little look through the stints to see whether we want to change what stint, like where we're going. I think, in all honesty, after the aggressive stint worked for us at Hungary, although we did have a bit of luck with the safety car, I think we might try and go with it again there. You know, just gotta be, gotta, gotta think outside the box with these things, gotta not do what the other teams expect you to. And then we're also gonna bring down the fuel just a bit there. Just hopefully to obviously lighten up the car so we don't need to worry about uh, weight on the open laps. So obviously, one's worried about fuel near the end there. As you can see, just going to cycle through the gears. Obviously, we jump a few cars there and just cycle back down through the gears. Just making sure that's all alright. So, let's move in to the German Grand Prix there. One light, two light, three light, four light, five light. And away we go for the German Grand Prix there. And we get to an absolute. An amazing start for Harrison Raikkonen there on our inside there. An absolutely beautiful start into Turn 1 there. Coming through and we've been tagged by Verstappen and we've lost the wheel. I cannot believe that we got... Well, I don't really know if we got taken out there or we... Well, we were at the Grand Prix at Turn 1 there. Obviously, Turn 1 at Germany has always been a horrible corner. But it's not really where you expect it to. We just get ever so slightly caught off on Verstappen and just the car goes sideways. That was a huge, huge shame for us. Obviously, I think we're going to have a look from Verstappen's point of view here. Can we have a look from it? No. Because there we go. And he just... He's probably got a little bit more room to try and avoid that because he really didn't try too hard there, let's be fair. I'm just going to have to slow it down here. As you can see, he is on the curb a bit, but he could have pushed himself a little bit more to the curb. There's no doubt about it. I definitely got what I deserved there. But he does kind of come back on the track. But he would have tried to take avoiding action. Realistically, I think it's fair enough to say. But that... 
is a huge, huge disappointment. He only loses his front wing there, so I'm not really sure how he got away so lightly from that. But there is our car. It's going off, spinning off into the gravel trap. A huge, huge shame for us to come back to this career mode and instantly get a DNF. Obviously, um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. FYR, I will be bringing out Spa later on this afternoon as this race was such a disappointment, guys. I'm not going to try and let you down too much. This was also a bit of, as I knew, obviously, what happened. This is just a bit of a test sort of video as well, just to make sure everything is working all right. Nico Rosberg wins ahead of Sebastian Vettel and Kimi Raikkonen. And there are the point. Uh, there are, sorry, the standings. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this short video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more F1 2016 content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.